Hi, I'm Greg Keller. I'm one of JumpCloud's co-founders and chief strategy officer, and I'm here today to talk to you about one of the critical areas of JumpCloud's platform in our open directory platform, our device management capabilities. We'll use our trusty whiteboard pen and walk you through a number of the different capabilities and service areas that thousands of customers around the globe uh, use us for, for their fleet management. So let's dive into it. All right. So let us start with the basic principles here, the machine. So one of the first things that I'd like to get across, the machine in GemCloud's world like this could be a physical laptop, could be a physical server, but also could be virtual from, you know, virtual machine itself to an instance a cloud compute like a Linux server in Azure or Google Cloud or AWS, it doesn't matter. So some of the basic principles um, that we want to get across are, number one, this entire world of Jump Cloud is cross operating system. So this includes Mac OS, it includes Windows, it includes Linux, both iron, like a laptop, or, or servers that are virtual, but also includes iOS and soon Android. So we are properly cross operating system. The second principle um, here is something that we want to get across to the world and it really starts to separate the world of GemCloud's open directory platform from other service providers. And that is something we refer to as the device being the gateway to resources. So what do I, we or um, I mean by this? Literally, it's the intersection of the device, the hardware, and the identity that GemCloud manages both of, and we combine those aspects for proper device trust and access control reasons. It's a very unique approach. So cross operating system and GemCloud's approach as a open directory platform, remember both a device management platform and an identity and access management control platform. This gives us a very unique opportunity to do special things for access and user management on the device. So the final thing that we'll talk about and when we dip into all of the feature and service area functionality here of GemCloud is this. We do all of our work through the installation of a simple lightweight agent. And that's all you need to know. Now let's dive into the key service areas of the GemCloud agent and device management at large. So the very first thing is, going back to our principle here of an agent, this is a small daemon that runs and in effect maintains secure contact to the jump cloud cloud instance. So way up in space is jump clouds cloud based infrastructure. And when the agent is installed, we instantly create a secure mutual TLS connection jump cloud in and of itself manages its own PKI service to put certs on the machine and trust keys. So it is a indestructible TLS connection that can't be tampered with. We have trust on both ends. Secondly, in order for this communication to occur between the jump cloud cloud instance and that host, wherever it is on planet Earth, is all done through a port 443 connection. We don't require you to kind of punch open new ports or holes into that laptop or server just to allow us to do communication. The communication style of Jump Cloud's agent is also very interesting with security at its root. We never lob in information you know, from the cloud into the machine. The machine itself is making outbound calls, literally telling Jump Cloud, hey, do I have any work to do? Uh, right now on this machine? Do I need to change a configuration policy, any of that? And that's done by intent. We want the calls coming from within the machine out to the cloud so no bad actors or you know, sort of man in the middle attacks could ever occur even though we have the TLS connection between those two. So ironclad connect connectivity to, to our jump cloud instance up in space uh, and uh, just a 443 outbound port connection. So let's talk about some of the feature capabilities of this and we'll go through the basic principles. Number one, 
so we'll, we'll start talking about features. Um, and you'll see very quickly that the Jump Cloud agent performs a number of different services. So let's start at the top. Number one, authentication. So one of the reasons why you use Jump Cloud, going back to this principle, the device is the gateway, is that we are managing the user account on the machine. So we can bind to pre-existing accounts and literally commandeer and take them over, or through uh, zero-touch enrollment or other mechanisms, we can push user accounts to and from and even redact them from the machine. So the user account on this machine is managed by Jump Cloud, which means we own, if I remove this, we are the ones who own the username, the password, all of the access into the box, right? So remember, Jump Cloud directory, we are the authentication provider. So the agent is controlling the login screen, knows the user account, and of course, knows uh, and will verify the credentials. One of the other things that we do, which is very unique, so if you assume this is the username and this is the password, um, we also are the MFA provider. Jump Cloud, through its device management, will provide MFA across Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. And this is not only for Iron, meaning your actual laptop, but even RDP instance, instances, et cetera, all through our Jump Cloud Protect push to verify, literally, the, your Jump Cloud uh, Protect app will ring on your phone when you're trying to access the machine. Is this you? Biometric? Yes, it is. And the screen opens up, and guess what? You're in using your machine. There is a good example of the intersection of identity control and the device management. That is one very clean aspect of that principle. The second is policy and configuration, this says config management, all right? Put your historical caps on and go back in time, and if you were IT admins, sysadmins at companies that used uh, Active Directory and their domain control system, here's a quick quiz. What did you use in Active Directory to manage the configuration of machines, like your Windows machines, GPOs, right? The world has evolved. Right? Windows still honors GPOs, but there's new ways of managing the implementation. So what Jump Cloud does through policy and configuration management across operating systems is honor each of the operating systems, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, and uniquely manages the configuration of those machines through each of their individual mechanisms. Some is scripting, some is profile management. And we can do all this because Jump Cloud as a device management service is also your registered MDM. For example, with Apple, you would register Jump Cloud with your Apple Business Manager account, gain the trust, and we are the party now responsible for managing even up to and including zero touch enrollment and deployment of macOS instances. So all of that policy and configuration management uh, is possible uh, because we are an MDM, even if you don't leverage the MDM aspects. We can still lay down policies, set up your screen savers, do all of the critical configuration aspects of allowing or disallowing activity on that particular machine. One of the key things that we also do, marrying these two, authentication and policy control, is govern pseudo access or standard access. Pseudo for the non-Linux initiated is admin or administrator. So you can give through Jump Cloud directly from space, from your administrative console, admin rights or redact them or basically shrivel up those entitlements down to standard users right at the click of a button. So three, let's go a little bit deeper. We as a, um, again, an MDM provider a, a, and, and those that can manage the policies and configurations, we are also the party responsible for FDE, full disk encryption. This means across Mac and Windows, we give you the ability to uh, encrypt the volume or volumes of the machine, and Jump Cloud will transport and securely store in escrow those recovery keys so you have access to them directly out of the Jump Cloud admin console for machine recovery sake. So again, a very critical aspect of Jump Cloud is, is the ability to 
encrypt or decrypt, as it were, uh, the machines. Let's go a bit deeper. So this word that I'm writing here is command execution, command X. So what is that? All right, you've got the agent on the machine. The agent is root. This gives us the capability to literally submit executable scripts or other uh, bodies of code, which can be written from the jump cloud console, deployed, and run across fleets of systems. In fact, one of the most cr creative aspects of jump cloud that we've seen is large scale fleet configurations, even up to and including using command execution to install browser plugins across thousands of endpoints. There's a million different reasons. If you can write PowerShell, Shell, Bash, uh, uh, Python, et cetera, if the machine can honor that body of code and execute it, our agent as root will run it across all of the machines in your fleet or just one singleton that you need to execute a job on. So commands is an extremely powerful part of Jump Cloud's uh, device management capabilities. So let's go a bit deeper now um, into software install. I have to dip down lower because we have so many features. I'm shrinking. So Jump Cloud across Mac OS and Windows enables you to take binaries, packages, DMGs, XEs, MSIs, et cetera, have them mounted in a repo and have that vehicle, again, the agent, pull down binaries and lay them down securely onto macOS and Windows fleets. So all of that is capable through the Jump Cloud uh, platform itself. So let's now look into some new capabilities that we're extremely excited about some of which are in early access others are now completely deployed across our whole general availabil uh, availability base customer base so we'll kind of go over here so from the new feature aspect so this is number six we'll call this patch management yes exactly what you're thinking so Jump Cloud now, again, as the party that is monitoring the health and behavior of these devices, is literally enabling um, you as an admin to control your fleets by setting baselines of machine types, some of which that need the absolute latest strict version of an operating system. Perhaps other members of your organization are more experimental so they can take in incremental updates of operating system patches. As an example, you can model the configurations and the way uh, your fleet needs to look um, from a very hard level or a very variable level. Like some machines get certain patches, others don't, et cetera. It's completely modifiable. And again, this is cross operating system, Mac, Windows, and Linux. We'll go a bit deeper into Remote assist. Yes, again, exactly what you're thinking. All right. This computer is now in a home office far, far away from your brick and mortar office. And I probably guarantee you as a sysadmin, more often than not are in your home office. You get a Slack message or otherwise a ticket that is saying, help me, I am locked out of my machine or something, I need a piece of software on my machine and, or I'm getting some odd behavior on my machine. What can you do as a sysadmin? You're far away, right, from, from your employee. Whereas before you could just walk over to the desk, take a look and you know, solve the problem. Remote Assist gives you the ability to session into that person's machine to provide them assistance. So just like you've seen for uh, you know, years, there are specific point solutions that you have to buy in order to drop yet another kind of piece of software, a daemon or some you know, installer on the machine so you can gain you know, visual access and start to control the mouse and copy and paste things on the machine. One agent all of these things, and now including remote assist. Final thing is password 
vaulting. Exactly again what you are thinking. JumpCloud is releasing its own variant of a password management solution. The agent itself will enable a vault to be uh, installed on the machine to securely store any clear text passwords that are required through a browser plugin to gain access to applications that are, are necessary uh, for your company. For example, some applications don't use the SAML protocol. So you want to share a set of, of common credentials, but you want to do that securely and not just you know, spread them around in Slack, et cetera. The vault, which will be installed by the agent if you choose, will allow that computer to securely manage those credentials and communicate them to the local browser plugin. We, as a cloud platform, never see those clear text credentials, which is a huge differentiator from other password managers. And if there is an instance of another machine that has the agent and the vault installed, we can provide secure peer-to-peer -peer connectivity between them to share credentials. It's an extremely progressive approach. So now while all this activity is occurring, there's one thing that we haven't discussed yet. We'll kind of put this down here as, a, as an asterisk. And the name of the, the feature is called System Insights, or I should say that there's two features, System Insights and Directory Insights. All right, let me explain. So while you're managing all these features, System Insights is through the agent delivering back information to you about the machine, all the hardware characteristics, the, the certificates you have on the machine, the network interfaces. Think of it, hundreds of different parameters and configurations of the asset, which we transport back to the cloud that you can do fleet reporting on. So a lot of our customers will load this into systems like a SIEM, for example, or other asset management inventory systems but the agent is delivering those pieces of critical information about the machine, that system insights. So, and that is about the asset. But for directory insights, we are logging all of the activity of the access into the machine, which is great for compliance reasons. You know who that user was accessing that machine, what applications were they currently accessing when they were auth granted authentication or access into the thing. So Directory Insights is logging all that information for you at all times. So including the device level sort of access control. So that's it. Device management from JumpCloud is extremely comprehensive and it's all done through the installation of that one singular lightweight agent. We hope this was helpful. And again, visit jumpcloud.com and learn more about JumpCloud's cross operating system device management capabilities. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.